Oh, I see. Okay, you just drop it off there. Nice. We made $28. <laughs> All right. $28. Yeah. Yay us. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get our field prepped uh, for our next planting. When I left you guys in the last episode, I was talking about maybe doing some logging and uh, doing some more contracts after sleeping until the next day. But then I, right after I left you guys, I got to thinking, hey, wait a minute, we got to get that field ready for the next planting. So that is what we're going to focus on today. Uh, the field needs to be plowed and it needs to be limed first before uh, we can think about planting it. So that's what we're going to do. And also, uh, we're going to put our normal tires back on our tractor. So let's do that first. So we'll pop out of here. Go to customize, and we just want to go back to the standard tires, which won't cost us anything because we already own them. Okay, that's done. Good. Get back in our vehicular here. Get better traction with these tires. All right. Let's hop out and go to the store. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, we're just gonna lease a plow and a spreader. Uh, so let's go to, oh, let's look and see what's in the sales, by the way. Uh, that is a forage harvester and that is an animal transfer. Okay, neither one of those are things that we are gonna need anytime soon. Uh, so let's go to plows. And I, I used, um, I used this little guy here in one of the contracts that I did yesterday. And I, I actually liked it. It worked pretty good. So we're just going to lease this one. Uh, I'm not going to buy a plow because we don't have enough of our own fields yet to justify doing that. So we're just going to lease for now. Uh, it's going to cost us $816. Okay, that's done. Uh, now we need to go to spreaders. So I happen to know that um, we're going to have to get this one because this smaller one here uh, or cheaper one, I should say, doesn't do lime. So we're going to have to do this one here, this bread all spreader. Uh, so we're going to lease that. It's going to cost us 20, about 2300 bucks. That's fine. And then we're going to need some lime too. And I'm thinking for our field, we're probably going to need uh, two bags of lime to cover the whole field. So we're going to uh, purchase two of these. And that's going to cost us 700 bucks. And anything we don't use, we can always, I, I believe we can always bring back to the store or save it for next time. Maybe that's what the deal is. We save it for next time. Okay, so that should get us everything to get our field limed and plowed. So let's get the liming done first, and then we'll plow it and plow the lime into the soil. All right, am I close enough to load those? I sure am. All right, let's fill up the fertilizer. We have to assume probably the dealer has a forklift and they're coming out here to help us load this thing. Uh, it does not look like I'm close enough to that other one to do it. So let's pull up and then back up a little bit here. That's close enough. All right, let's load her up. I hope this is enough for the field. I think it will be. I mean, our field's not really that big. So that's going to give us 4,000 liters. Okay, we'll come back for the plow in a little bit. So yeah, we'll get this field prepped. Um, I think I'm going to plant wheat. Uh, we only really have two options right now for planting. We have wheat or barley. And before I started the recording, I, I was looking at that in the wheat um, is going to sell for a better price than I think than the barley is. Um, however, we're not going to, uh, the best time to sell the wheat is in January. So we're going to have to wait a full year and, and then some before we can actually sell it, but that's okay. It's just kind of the way things work. Um, the only other possibility here, I think we were going to have to, we're going to want to start right about here-ish. Let's look at something here real quick. Uh, if we decided to, so the green is planting. Yeah. See the, those are the only two options. If we want to get something planted now, the other thing we could do is wait until March 
and then we could plant oats, and then we could harvest those oats a couple of, you know, three months later. I'm just trying to see, is there any way you could plant two crops, plant and harvest two crops in a single year? It doesn't really look that way unless I'm missing something. Grass and oil sea radish doesn't really count. Oil sea radish, I guess you plant and then plow it in and it becomes a one stage of fertilizer for you from what I understand. So, um, oh, what's this? This is cotton. Um, okay. No. So oats seem to be something you can plant and then harvest quickly. So it must be a fast growing commodity. Uh, what is the price on oats? Gold crest is six fifteen. What's the best time to sell? January. It seems like January is the best time to sell a lot of this stuff. Okay, how much? What's wheat? Okay, the best price on wheat is four oh seven, and the best price on oats is six oats are six fifteen. And we could plant the oats and harvest the oats. And get potentially a better price for doing that than if we do the wheat. Because, we, you know, we, if we plant the wheat now, we're, we're basically, we can't use our field for anything else until July rolls around of the next year. Uh, and oats seem to sell more than, uh, more for, uh, for more than wheat does anyways. What about soybeans? Soybeans have to be planted there, but then they're harvested later. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking we should maybe do oats, you guys. If if the price was more or less the same, I'd probably go with the wheat. Um, what is barley? Yeah, barley's even lower. All right. I'm. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling oats, you guys. I really am. I'm kind of feeling oats. I think maybe what we do is let's prep our field. We might as well get it prepared. I don't think it matters if we prepare it. Uh, well, does it matter if we prepare it real far in advance? In real life, that would that would encourage more weeds to happen on it. <clears throat> now, hey, you know what? There's another possibility here. What if we planted grass? What if we planted grass on our field, which we can do all year round? No, we can harvest it all year round. But we could plant grass on the field now. And then harvest it in March, replow, and then plant oats in April. That would get us more, that would allow us to use the field twice in the same year. Man, maybe that's what we should do, hey? I'm kind of thinking that's what we should do. All right, well... Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this lime spread. We got it. We're going to just do it regardless, right? So, oh, no. Get the tractor turned the right way. Are we at a good width? This is something you kind of want to do from a bird's eye view to see. Yeah, that's just about perfect there. Right at the edge of the field. We'll just go right off the end here and... Just barely miss our <laughs> our trailer there. Okay. So we want to probably be right about here-ish. Back her up. Right about to here is probably good. Okay. Go, 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 go. Sometimes when I press the cruise control, it takes a, another moment or two for it to actually engage. We just barely missed that little spot there. All right, well, we'll, um, 
We'll fix that stuff at the end. Okay, so let's start here. I guess I could... I need to get a little further into the field first before I start. I'm also going to kind of drift to the left a little bit just to catch all of this. That means we're going to have to drift to the left on everything else too, but... Whatever. Doggone it, we're missing strips. I always overestimate how far away I should be on stuff like this. I need to be closer. Okay, how are we doing? We're at 19%. Uh, okay, I'm going to run this one a little closer just so we can try and uh, even this out. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Straighten that thing out, man. Okay. Let's back up just a little bit. I don't know. Oh, darn it. I don't know if we're going to have enough to... Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go. We probably just barely don't have enough to do this whole strip. Let's just see what happens if we take it right down the middle. Yeah, we're going to get most of it. When we get down to this end, we're going to have a strip, a little strip, I think. Yeah, starting right there. Okay, so we have 7% left. I don't know if that's going to be enough for us to get all these spots or not. We'll see. Let's just go right up the middle here. Now we have 4% left. All right, I think what I'm going to do is let's go over here. Just hit this one real quick, okay? And then let's swing over and grab this one real quick. And then this one. We're at two percent. It's gonna be close, man. <laughs> it's gonna be really close. Okay. Here we go. I know there's a little spot there, but I'd rather try and get the two bigger spots or three bigger spots I guess we have eight liters left and two tiny tiny spots here I 
That's it. <laughs> okay, you know what? That little spot, I don't care. It's good enough. It's good enough. All right, let's take the spreader back. Um, Is this going to need fertilizer at all? It is. I'm pretty sure we need to wait, though, and tell there's a crop on the field to fertilizer uh, to fertilize at least every time I've ever fertilized in this game which has been twice now it's always been when there's a crop on so let's yeah let's not worry about that now okay well that wasn't that wasn't pro but we got the job done <laughs> Right now, let's go ahead and get our plow now. Excellent. Okay, I think we can um, might as well return this. I can't think of any reason why we still need it right now. Because if you know, we will need to fertilize later, but I think we need to wait till we have a crop on the field. If that's not the case, if I could could fertilize right now and get to the two stages of it, let me know in the comments just so I know for next time. Uh, anyway, let's go to lease, fertilizer, spreader, return. All right, that's done. Okay, so we don't want to plow our grass area. So we're going to, I am going to make a headland. <clears throat> so let's get the tractor lined up. There we go. And then back her up. Now the plow is right at the end of the field. All right there should be good. Okay. I also looked at, you know, a subsoiler, but I guess the subsoilers produce more weeds and bring up larger rocks than the plow does. But it also is, apparently it was like supposed to be easier to use or something like that. But I mean, you know, I used the plow quite a bit yesterday in all those contracts, so I'm feeling relatively comfortable with it at this point. We did miss that one little spot there. Alright, let's flip it around. Get right about here and make sure plows all the way on the field okay there we go Let's do let's do one more pass on the headland just so we have plenty of room. Now, I'm going to back up and grab this other little strip here that we missed, too. Can't go on trees, in the way. Oh, I guess I could just lower my camera a bit, huh? Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go down this way, and we'll also do a headland on the other end of the field, and then we'll be ready to 
do our rows here. That's a nice little plow. Okay, now let's swing around this way. I'm going to hit that a couple times too, actually. Neat. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a headland up the diagonal area. Nice thing about lime in the field is it's very easy to see your lines. Let's see if we can also nab this carefully. All right, it didn't quite get all the way. Let's uh, get back this way a little more. Yeah, that's close enough. All right, we'll do one more pass on the diagonal. And then we should be ready to just go up and down the field. Right, guys we are just about finished with our plowing here we just got one uh, maybe two more at the most runs to do yeah we'll, we'll probably have to do two so we're not gonna be able to get all of that in one shot oh uh, okay so let's get lined up here and get 
this next part done and then we'll take a look at the map and make sure I didn't miss any parts sometimes I you know from what I was seeing when I was doing the contracts yesterday sometimes the field visibly looks plowed but there's still like little strips that you missed and you know how big of a deal that actually is I don't know maybe it doesn't really matter but uh, we'll look at it anyway and see see what it shows Let's lift that up and what we're going to do here, yeah, let's flip this around. Make sure I don't run into the billboard there. We're going we're gonna to come back, make one more pass on the way back up to, for no other reason, so I can try and nab that one little corner that we missed. Well, yeah, it looks like we'll have one more strip to do anyway, so. And then I think the next thing we need to do is rent a stone picker and get all the stones off the field. I wouldn't think that would matter a whole lot for planting hay though, but we'll just do it anyway. So yeah, I guess the subsoiler from what I was I understand is that it it's easier to use than the plow because it's just straight, but it brings up larger rocks and also uh weeds too where I guess the plow I don't know if the plow eliminates weeds or if it just makes them not as bad or something not really sure okay let's see if we can nab this guy here I might have to come at it from the other the other side because we might hit that tree but let's just see what happens here there we go look at that all right awesome Okay, so let's uh, take a look. Actually, let's see what it says first. It doesn't say anything. Okay, so according to this, we don't have to do anything to this field. Uh, let's look at the map, though. Okay, so we want to go, let's see, this is our, where's our field at? Right here, 52. Let's zoom in and then go here. So it shows that it's plowed. And, oh man, look at that. Oh, okay, that's just, that's fer fertilized. Okay, so, yeah, it the plowing's perfect. It doesn't show me, show that I missed any plowing at all. Well, maybe a little tiny spot, spot way up there. Um. But the soil composition, uh, we need to remove the stones. That's all the little yellow dots. And uh, it looks like there's not, I mean, for all intents and purposes, we need to fertilize the thing too. Okay, so here again, I'm not sure if that's something we do after we plant or before. I, I would think after, just from all the fertilizing that I've seen be done so far. Okay, so, um, all right, let's get... Uh, Let's, get, let's go ahead and take the plow back. We're done with it. Yeah, for small, smallish fields, small, maybe medium-ish fields, this is a nice little plow. You know, the one thing I ran into with those really big, ginormous plows is it's kind of hard to use those on a small field just because, you know, they go way beyond the edge of the field and tear up the ground kind of thing. All right, let's... Nope. Let's drop this and see if we can just nab that one little spot for good measure. There we go. We got it. Okay. Nice. Look at that. Freshly plowed field. Doesn't it look awesome? I think so. 
Okay, let's go back to the shop, and what we're going to do now is get a stone picker. We're just going to rent it, of course, and get the rocks off our field. Next step, of course, is then going to be to get a plant, uh, lease a planter and plant some hay. And we're just going to grow a hay crop and harvest it at least once. And then by the end of March or early part of April, we'll have to replow the uh, field again. And then we're going to plant oats. That's that's my plan currently. Now, if you guys have a better idea, uh, by all means, you know, give me some ideas in the in the chat. You know, if, if there's something else I should be doing, but it seems to me like that's probably the way to go at this point in time. Because you know, everything we're doing in this episode is just field prep, anyways. So we got to do it no matter what. Uh, okay, grab the lease, return, and that's done. Okay, now, next thing we need is a stone picker. S uh, stone pickers right here. Okay. So, all of those are pretty expensive. This is obviously the cheapest one, so this is the one we're going to use. That has 3.8 meters. That's 2.3. What is the, just out of curiosity, what is the lease on this? It's two thousand bucks. Yeah, I don't think we need that. I think we'll we'll be fine with the the little guy. Twelve seventy five. Okay. All right, let's go destone our field. And you know what though? I don't know what we do with the stones. Is there there's a place we could sell those, right? Stones. Yeah, we can take them to a debris crusher. Okay. One, I guess the one question I have though is we're going to, is this going to fill up? And what do we do with them when they're done? I guess, I guess we run this to the debris crusher. Where is that at? Uh, because, I mean, I guess the other thing I would do is drop them on the ground, go get a bucket and load it in my trailer. Hmm, not sure about that. Okay, so uh, loading stations, tip stations, loading stations, productions, the turn off animals, contracts, tools, trailers, combines, vehicles, and that narrows things down. Okay, so where is the stone crusher thingamadoodle? That's an animal dealer, animal dealer. Sawmill, this is Johnson's Market. That's a grain mill. A spinnery. A bowling alley. This is the biogas place. This is the vehicle shop. Oil mill. Debris crusher. Okay, that must be it. Okay, that's not too far away from us. So even if we do have to run it down there a few times, not a big deal. Pretty sure that's where we got to go. Okay, cool. That's good to know. That is good to know. All right, I guess we want to line this thing up right about here-ish. And we what? Turn it on? You need to unfold first. Oh, what's it? It goes at an angle, huh? Okay. Really? Okay. I guess maybe it can pick them up better if it's at an angle or something. Oh, no, it's not at an angle. It just was that way when we unfolded. Okay. All right, let's pick up some stones, guys.
Right, I'm going to run this along the edge a little bit better than I did at first, and I also need to do the same thing at the on the diagonal. And it's only 2% full, too, by the way, so <laughs> we don't need to worry about filling that thing up. Uh, and it's also, on top of everything else, smoothing out our field, making it look almost look like it's cultivated, which is kind of nice. All right, guys, so we are 10% full. Uh, we might be able to do this. We probably will, in fact, be able to do this whole field without this filling all the way up. So that's cool. Kind of fun, something different. Getting them rocks out the field, baby. Oh, it started raining. First time it's rained on me in this game. I shouldn't affect rock picking up, though, I wouldn't think. You're not supposed to harvest in the rain. But I would imagine rock picking and plowing and anything like that probably doesn't matter so much. Kind of interesting, though. Got some rain. Very cool. All right, we're just about finished here. Two more passes and we should be done. And I got a couple of uh, spots, uh, very small spots, that we need to touch up too, and then we're good to go. I like the way this is making our field look though, man. It's, it's, it looks to me like we cultivated it, sort of anyways. Okay, let's see. I think there's a spot over here we gotta oh, I guess. Yeah, we got a spot here too. Let's get this. Oh, there's a little pile of rocks right there. Did we get those? I think so. There's a little strip right here. Let's get that. I mean, I'm sure these little tiny spots we missed are, are not really a big deal, but we'll get them. And a little spot right here. Or two little spots right here. Okay, I think that's it. Not really spotting anything else pretty sure we hit this here I think it's just the color of the soil maybe because I see the lines through it so yeah alrighty nice Let's just turn this thing off it's 24% full look at the stones in the back of that that's cool All right. So yeah, we just I guess we just take this down the street to the debris crusher and uh, make a little tiny bit of money back. Probably not enough to Oh, we should probably fold this, huh? Probably not enough to um, cover the lease, but I mean, you know, it's all right. Cost of doing business all that. So let's head down this way.
There it is. Debris crusher. Okay. Let's bring up the help menu. So do we just pull up right here? Uh, unfold, lower, turn on, start, start overloading. Is that the one? Oh, I see. Okay, you just drop it off there. Nice. We made $28. <laughs> All right. $28. Yeah. Yay us. Okay. <laughs> Dang. That's all right. We, did, we didn't do this to make money. So, you know, that'll at least buy our uh, our cheeseburger for dinner at Mama Joe's tonight. So, <laughs> $28. Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. Okay. Let's return this thing. Hey, look, we got windshield wipers on. That's cool. I guess those come on automatically because I didn't turn them on. All right, let's return the stone picker upper thingy. Go to leases, stone pickers. This is a Diggleman Signature 7200. All right, fantastic. Let's see, it is 11 o'clock in the morning on October 2nd. So we have, as far as I can tell, we have fully prepped our field. You know, while we're here, why don't we repair our tractor? We might as well. Uh, repair. Almost 3,000 bucks, man. But we got to do it. We got to do it. You know, I was thinking, too. I have the fuel consumption in this game to normal. Seems a little OP. Like, we should be using gas a little more quickly than I am. Um. So, I, I don't know. I'll think about it. Because we are running the tractor a lot, but on the other hand, you know, time's going by super slow, too, so maybe it's realistic. I don't know. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments, I guess. It's on normal right now, but in, you know, this is what, episode 11, 12, something like that? I've only filled the tank up on this tractor once. Of course, on the other hand, too, I mean, I've been doing a lot of contracts using the farmer's equipment, too, so I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Does the rain clean our tractor? Nah. Looks like it's still a little bit on the dirty side there. I wouldn't expect the rain to clean the wheels off anyway, but... does definitely need a paint job, but the paint jobs are so doggone expensive. And if you think about it, too, I mean, this tractor doesn't have a ton of surface area. I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's look at the field here. It's looking good, man. It is looking good. Very cool. So I'm thinking it's ready for us to plant some hay. Now let's take a look at the map again. Okay, so it shows, it's, oh, it is cultivated. Wow, look at that. Okay, so the stone, we did miss a few spots, but I don't think that's a big deal. The stone picker upper also cultivates. How interesting. Because you remember I said it to you guys a couple times, it looks like it's also cultivated. Okay, it's cool. So we killed two birds with one stone. See what I did there, stone? Uh, by doing that. I should have looked at the map before we returned it so I could have hit these other spots. But again, I mean, I don't think that really matters. I don't think it's going to make or break our, our harvest, you know. Uh, nifty. Okay, so if we go here to soil composition, 
Uh, we can see that the stones are all gone. There's a couple of spots that are missing line, but again, negligible, I think. Um, and it definitely needs fertilization. The our, our whole grass area is first stage fertilized because I think grass uh, just is autom automatically first stage fertilized. So we're in pretty good shape, really. Uh, so I think the next thing, guys, um, that we're going to have to do in the next episode, because we're out of time here, is... Man, the weather. Uh, we're going we're gonna to buy ourselves some hay seed, or grass seed, I guess. I wish we had alfalfa in this game, man. Uh, but we don't, so we'll buy ourselves some grass seed, and we'll plant grass, and we're just going to grow hay on our property until, like I said uh, earlier, let's look at this again. Uh, where's oats right here. Okay. So we're going to grow hay on our property until towards the end of April. We'll, it will probably, I don't know, I don't know how many harvests we'll actually get off of it. At least one, I'm, you know, maybe even two, we'll see. Uh, but we'll grow hay on the property until the end of, uh, April or maybe midway through April. And then we will plow the field again, and then we'll plant oats. And then just a few months later, we'll be able to harvest those oats. And then after that, we might actually try some canola. Uh, but canola also uh, also takes almost an entire year, too. What's the price on canola if we just sell it straight up? Ooh, those are pretty high prices, actually, aren't they? I mean, compared to, like, wheat. Yeah, okay. So here's the tentative plan, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll go over it one more time. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant hay now, grass, and hopefully get one, maybe two harvests off the, off the property. And then towards the end of April, we'll plow the field and plant oats, and then we'll harvest those oats in, in probably first part of August, and then we'll reprep the field and we'll plant canola in the second part of August or into September. And I think we'll, you know, I think that'll get us some good action on this field. Now, the other thing I have in mind is I think I'm, we're going to get some logging equipment, uh, which means we need a, man, that's loud. We need a chainsaw and a log picker upper thingamadoodle. Uh, we already have the flatbed trailer. And I think I'm going to cut the trees on the property. Maybe not all of them, but I'm going to cut s several of them because, you know, they're just in my way. And if we cut them and remove them, you know, then we'll be able be able to do our hay better and I could and may and may actually expand our field next time we plow it too and make it even larger. So that is kind of what I have in mind for now. You're standing underneath the tree and staying dry, right? Sorta, of, kinda? Okay. <laughs> um yeah, so that's the plan for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.